welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. We haven't done a neck dish in a while for breakfast, so I thought that we should do one today. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite way ways to cook eggs, and that is in a cocotte. We're going to make the eggs in here, so you're going to have that runny yolk effect, and then you can add ham, or you can add even some herbs, or cheese, whatever you like. Today we're going to add some crispy serrano ham that I've taught you before what, uh, how to do when we did the crispy things for salads. So that's going to be our dish today and it's a lovely idea for breakfast. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this egg cocotte, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. So I have here my cocottes in a deep dish. So you want to have a deep dish because it's going to cook in a van marie. So you want the water to reach at least halfway up the cocottes. I also have my crispy serrano ham already done. I baked it in the oven until you have this really nice and crispy effect that you can actually break with your fingers. So when you take it out of the oven and it's still hot, you will find that it's still a bit uh, elastic, but as it cools down, it will go really nice and crispy. cocottes and start opening our eggs in. After the first egg you want to add some cream and this will give it a really nice and soft texture as well as salt and pepper. So now that this has the boiling water in it, it's going to go into a preheated oven at 160 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until you see that the egg white has already started to become solid and the egg yolk is still runny. cocotte recipe I really hope you liked it if you did like it don't forget to put thumbs up to this video it makes me really really happy please if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook also if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make you can leave a comment below I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday so if you don't want to miss any of them then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel it's free and only one click away you can also follow me on Instagram Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.